Baptist Health South is making a major addition to its hospital. Today it opened part of a new eight-story patient tower, which will serve as many as 407 more patients. With the local population quickly growing, the campus is working to grow with it. Shelby Danielson gives us a look inside. Opening day kicked off with a bang. <laughs> Stories of top-notch new medical equipment and patient rooms at Baptist South Medical Center helping to fill the need for more patient beds in Jacksonville, including yes. this kind of bed, the father bed, which you'll find in their new labor and delivery unit complete with 45 suites. The nice thing here is that you deliver in the same room that your baby stays in with you. A smaller bed across the room is the baby warmer, allowing the yeah. whole family to stay close together. Dad will be able to go in there and enjoy the visit while babies be admitted. Down the hall, you'll find the new term nursery for post C-section babies. Labor, deliver, and stay with the baby in room uh, the entire uh, time that they're here in the hospital. It's not just about more rooms, it's about more options. Cancer is the number one cause of death here in Duval County, and Baptist MD Anderson is doing Doing something about it. They've added a medical oncology unit and along with it a third MRI machine that can quickly give better images than an x-ray which is vital to a quick diagnosis. And this four million dollar machine is designed to shrink cancer tumors all while sparing the normal surrounding tissue and it's complete with a view. All you have to do is look up. In the case of a most serious situation in the wake of several mass shootings across the country, Baptist President Nicole Thomas says they are ready for anything. It's really about what's closest uh, to the emergency and um, we'll all rise to the occasion and help as needed. So um, we will be well prepared um, in the event that a horrific accident happened like that in Jacksonville. Thomas says they're always preparing for any kind of emergency and that includes building on even more here if needed in the future. On the South Side, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News, on your side.